Good morning. Today is the 29th day of July in this 20, 22nd year of our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We are in store for another hot day today. Uh, Benita and I have family, uh, Melanie's family and Brian's family coming in today for a 10-day visit. So uh, we've been busy getting things ready for that. Uh, and uh, we're thankful for the time that we can have with family and that they still want to be with us here at the beach. Uh, so we're looking forward to that time. Also, uh, several concerns that we have to share. Uh, one is please keep uh, Judy Bigginer in your prayers. Judy, a member at Trinity, called yesterday and said that her husband Richard, uh, Richard Rossi, uh, passed away yesterday. Uh, so our deepest sympathies to, to her in this time of tragedy for her and her family. And we pray God's blessings will abide with her throughout these days of mourning and deciding uh, those things that are needful when we lose someone. Um, and uh, continue to keep James Rag in your prayers. He seems to be doing well, uh, getting some oxygen treatment, but... Uh, Hopefully, uh, quarantine will be completed, and uh, he'll be back on the road. Evelyn said he's up and down, he's around, he's in and out of the house, uh, doing this and doing that. So uh, I, I think he's going to be fine. Um, I, I think those are the two concerns <clears throat> that we share today. Um, today, uh, in, I guess, as a word of hope and comfort for those who do grieve and many grieve every day oh and there there's one other person and that, and that is uh, uh, my uh, son-in-law Matthew's father Merle Bain Merle is uh, having a pacemaker inserted uh, today so we hope that surgery and procedure goes well and restore him to the active life that he's been enjoying uh, up until a brief incident the other day and also sympathies to our friend uh, Tim Anderson at the death of, of his father uh, this past week. Uh, his father had uh, suffered long uh, with lots of disabilities and uh, to his health and uh, now rests in God's arms and love forevermore. Um, a reading or recitate, recitation of the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd shall not be in want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters and he restores my soul. He leads me in pathways of righteousness for his name's sake. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You anoint my head with oil my cup is overflowing. Surely your goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forevermore. From Diary of Private Prayer by John and Bailey. O God, immortal, eternal, invisible, I remember with gladness and thanksgiving all that thou hast been to this world of men. Companion of the brave, upholder of the loyal, light of the wanderer, joy of the pilgrim, guide of the pioneer, helper of laboring men, refuge of the brokenhearted, deliverer of the oppressed, succor of the tempted, strength of the victorious, ruler of rulers, friend of the poor, rescuer of the perishing, hope of the dying. Give me faith now to believe that thou canst be all in all to me according to my need. If only I renounce all proud self-dependence and put my trust in thee. Forbid it, O Father, that the difficulty of living well should ever tempt me to fall into any kind of heedlessness or despair. 
May I keep it ever in mind that this human life was once divinely lived, and this world once nobly overcome, and this body of flesh that now so sorely tries me, once made into the, thy perfect dwelling place. Show thy loving kindness tonight, O Lord, to all who stand in need of thy help. Be with the weak to make them strong, and with the strong to make them gentle. <clears throat> Cheer the lonely with thy company, and the distracted with thy solitude. Prosper thy church in the fulfillment of her mighty task, and grant thy blessing to all who have toiled today in Christ's name. Amen. And I found this small little piece from uh, Carlos Carlito from Letters from the Desert. Just a thought for the day and the weekend. God gives us the boat and the oars, but then tells us it's up to you to row. Making positive acts of faith is like training this faculty. It is developed by training as the muscles are developed by gymnasts. And let us pray. Holy God, we greet this new day with the hopes that it holds and bears for us in the living of life. Grant us your guiding presence to walk in your ways more perfectly, to trust in your guiding principles <clears throat> that you have shown us through your scripture, through your Christ. Give us faith and confidence that you are with us no matter what life brings. Bring travel mercies to Melanie and Brian and their family as they travel to join us this week and give hope and possibilities to the lives that are broken in many and varied ways. To Judy as she mourns Richard's death, to Merle as he faces surgery, confidence in his physicians and those that will renew and restore his health, confidence that you are the one who desires peace. <clears throat> Bring that at last to the troubled people of the Ukraine as they are inundated by aggression from outside by the Russians. Grant stability to this region. Grant to those who seek healing and well-being your loving care for Nikki and Tom and Lisa and Roger and Nancy, for Kenneth and Gay, for Merle, for Evelyn Tompkins, for Frank and for Bobby, for Loretta, for each that we remember in our hearts before you now. Into your hands, O oh Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus, who taught us to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you, to be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord this day and forevermore. Amen.